Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today is a really exciting video because we are going to be talking about the new Fenty Beauty holiday collection. Rihanna calls this the Galaxy Collection and you all know that I did do my original Fenty Beauty launch video where I tested the foundation, the primer, the contour sticks, the highlighters of course, the initial lip gloss she launched. So I had a whole review video on that. I'll link it below in case you guys haven't seen it yet. But in that video I did make it a little bit of a note to say that Rihanna did not launch any eye products. She didn't launch really any lip products other than the one gloss. So I was going to be on the lookout for that stuff coming up. And Rihanna just hit us with it and said, you know what? You guys wanted eyeshadows. You guys wanted more lip products. Well, here you go. This collection basically took us all by surprise. I didn't expect her to launch a limited edition collection so soon after her initial product launch, but honestly, I ain't complaining. I was really, really excited to see her eyeshadows in particular, which is a big deal because you guys know I am a lip product junkie at heart. But when I saw this gorgeous palette, I don't even know if the camera is picking this up, but it is in the most beautiful metallic oil slick duo chrome triple chrome design it looks so sleek it looks so stunning i mean i'll give you guys a little sneak peek at the lip products and they also have that kind of duo chrome oil spill look to them absolutely gorgeous. So today we're going to be talking about everything I picked up from Rihanna's holiday collection, which is the eyeshadow palette, one of the lip glosses, and one of the lipsticks. There are other shades of both the lip gloss and lipstick that I didn't end up picking up, and she also released a couple shades of liquid eyeliner, which I also didn't pick up, but I figured this will give you guys a brief roundup of what's available in the holiday collection, and I know most of you guys were particularly curious about the eyeshadow palette, so I I definitely wanted to pick that up. So let's go ahead and jump right into talking about the eyeshadow palette first. Rihanna calls this the Galaxy eyeshadow palette. This palette retails for $59. I picked it up in my local Sephora store, but I've also seen it on Sephora.com, and I know the Fenty Beauty website also has this. Here's what the box looks like that the palette comes in. You can see the box is so pretty. I don't even want to throw it away. And then the back of the box does show you guys all of the colors of what you get inside. This does get scratched up. I know that for a fact because the front of my palette, I doubt the camera will pick it up, but there are quite a few scratches here at the front and that's just from sliding it in and out of the box like two times. And the palette will of course hold fingerprints as well because it's just that kind of texture. So just keep that in mind. You definitely want to be a little bit careful with it if you don't want it to get all scratched and scuffed up. The palette does have a snap closure. It's not magnetic. There is a mirror up here and then you are getting 14 different eyeshadows in this really, really unique layout. Now, especially after seeing this palette in person and swatching it, I was really curious as to what Rihanna was really going for with this palette. So let me go ahead and read you guys the description right off the Sephora site. It says, launch your eye look into a new glitter sphere with the limited edition Galaxy eyeshadow palette. Hyper reflective sparkle meets a rainbow of 14 celestial inspired colors that range from sheer glittering top coats to smoky shimmer drenched hues. Like jewelry for your eyes, these glimmering eyeshadows and top coats are the ultimate accessory to every look. And then it also says Rihanna wanted her first holiday collection to wow from every angle. Glitter on glitter on glitter. That's what the Galaxy Collection is all about, no exception. I dig it, Rihanna. I dig it. So before I jump into talking about the texture and my opinion on this eyeshadow formula, let's go ahead and jump right into swatches so you guys can see for yourself exactly what I'm about to describe. So here we have the first seven shades of the eyeshadow palette swatched out. From left to right, we have Extraterrestrial, Light Year, Planet X, Ozone, Ultraviolet, Sublime, and Milky Way. And then here we have the final seven shades of the palette swatched. From left to right, we have Cosmic Ocean, Meteor Crush, Jupiter Sand, Mars on Fire, Midnight Bolt, Space Out, and Sunburst. So hopefully you guys were able to tell from the swatches, most of these shades, I would say like 12 out of the 14 shades in here, are really sheer. These are essentially a pressed glitter 
in a pan. Again, you can tell from the swatches, nothing in this palette is matte, nothing in this palette was meant to be matte. And I definitely don't think there's anything wrong with that. I definitely think glitter eyeshadow palettes or a palette that has, you know, all shimmery or metallic colors definitely has its place in my collection because I do have my go-to matte eyeshadow palettes like the Viseart Neutral Matte or the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye. And either of those palettes would be perfect to bring in with a palette like this. However, I know the textures of these shadows are going to be a hit or miss for some people. You're either going to love the glitteriness and know how to work with it and you don't mind taking the extra steps to make this formula work or you're gonna hate it and think this is going to be a complete wreck mess fallout everywhere. So let me go ahead and give you guys my pro tips and tricks to making a formula like this work. JK, I'm no pro, but regardless, if you guys know the formula of the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadows, it's essentially a pressed glitter. Very, very similar to the formula in here. My best tips for making a palette like this work or a formula like this work is to number one, use some sort of glitter glue. I know NYX has a really good glitter glue. My holy grail is the Too Faced glitter glue. Use that on your eyes first. Like I said, most of these colors are pretty sheer. They really only deliver a glitter punch, but not so much of an opaque base color. So if you want the opaque base color, put that on first, then use a glitter glue, then go in, preferably with your finger, because these are pretty chunky, go in with your finger and then pat it on your eyelid. If you're planning on using this formula with brushes, you're probably not gonna have very much luck. If you're planning on using this palette solo without bringing in other matte colors, you're definitely gonna have a very, very glittery disco ball look. And if that's what you're going for, then absolutely go for it. But I would definitely just use one or maybe two of these shades as an all over lid color with other matte shades in my crease and lower lash line, etc. So I will say if you are a fan of the Urban Decay Moon Dust formula, you'll probably really like these. But if you're not a fan of the pressed glitter formula, you think it's too much of a mess or too much of a hassle, I would definitely skip on this palette. So now let's go ahead and do some housekeeping things on this palette before we move into discussing the lip products. So like I said, this palette does retail for $59. You are getting 14 shadows. Each shadow has 1.4 grams of product. That means that you're getting 19.6 grams of product total. That means that you're paying $3.01 per gram for this palette, which I will say is very, very reasonable, especially for a palette that's filled with these kinds of glittery shadows. Shadows with a lot of glitter or pearl in them tend to be a lot more expensive than matte shadows, just overall on the whole. So $3.01 per gram is a really great price per gram. Also, just to let you guys know, this palette is made in Canada. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump right into talking about the lip products that were launched in this Galaxy collection. I'll go ahead and zoom you guys in. We'll talk about the formulas. I'll try on the two products that I have and tell you guys a little bit more about them. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the lipstick first. This is the Starlit Hyper Glitz Lipstick. And as you guys can probably not tell on this camera, it has this beautiful like multi-chrome effect to it, just like the eyeshadow palette. It does have FB written here at the top and then the bottom does have a really tiny sticker label with the name. The actual lipstick just snaps on like it's not a magnetic or anything. And then this is what the lipstick looks like. And hopefully you guys can see that FB B for Fenty Beauty is also etched in the top of the lipstick, which I think is really, really cute. Now the lipsticks retail for $19 a piece. Like I said, there are four shades. I picked up the darkest one, which is kind of a berry color, but there were two other pinky shades and one kind of peachy shade. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this nude lipstick that I was wearing. You guys probably couldn't even tell I was wearing anything because it was just so similar to my skin tone, but I promise I was. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for the first time on camera with you guys so you can see the kind of color it has and how it can definitely be built up. It definitely has this really, really beautiful amount of sparkle to it. It's kind of like 
pink and gold sparkle in like a berry colored base yeah the texture on this is really nice it is actually like a lip balm it has a little bit of i don't want to call it stickiness but it's got a little bit of like cling to it that i definitely don't feel this drifting outside of my lip line for the amount of glitter or shimmer it has in it it's not super gritty i mean if i run my lips together i can feel a little bit of something but it's not bad at all it's actually very very, very nice feeling on the lips. This formula doesn't have any taste. It also doesn't have any scent to it, which I really do like. Now, I already know I'm gonna get asked this question, so I'm just gonna answer it here and now. How does this compare to a Rani Cosmetics Sparked Dazzling Lipstick? In case you guys don't know, I do have my own makeup line. It's called Rani Cosmetics, and I did launch six lipsticks quite a few months ago that all had a glittering shimmering finish now while this color isn't like anything i have in the line it's very very different i just wanted to compare the formulas okay so i just went and grabbed one of my lipsticks this one is in the shade bindi it's all of my lipsticks do have shimmer in them all of the ones that i have out so far but i'll just go ahead and show you guys the payoff on my lipsticks is definitely a lot more the actual shine is much much stronger on the Rihanna Fenty Beauty so honestly they're very different I feel like they're kind of apples and oranges if you want something a lot more comfortable more of like a lip balm feel but that's definitely going to sacrifice on wear it's not going to last as long the Fenty Beauty ones are very very comfy however the Rani ones are also super comfy and you're going to get a lot longer wear because the pigment on these is just insane so again it's like comparing apples and oranges i feel weird even comparing them because they're not the same but i knew someone was gonna ask so i figured i'd mention it okay and then finally let's go ahead and talk about the new lip gloss formula this is called the cosmic gloss lip glitter and yeah this is very 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 glittery these glosses also retail for 19 dollars a piece you guys can see again the packaging absolutely beautiful here's what the applicator looks like you can see it's a slightly slanted pretty long and skinny doe foot now this gloss also comes in four different shades i only picked up this one it's called platonic relationship it's described as a holographic hot pink but it's basically a hot pink base with this beautiful teal and blue sparkle to it it's absolutely stunning i'm so glad i went in store to swatch these because when i was looking at the online swatches i was actually going to get another one which is more of like a purpley violet color but going in store and just seeing this hot pink with the blue reflect it was just absolutely mesmerizing oh my goodness i think i'm gonna need some more of these this is the most beautiful lip gloss i probably have in my entire freaking collection it is phenomenal it smells like vanilla frosting it kind of tastes like oh my gosh what are those called the like candy covered almonds jordan almonds it kind of tastes like jordan almonds am i just going crazy probably i'm actually going to do a lip combo with you guys that i swatched in the sephora store so the combo i did was applying the bite beauty amuse bouche lipstick in jam which is this really really gorgeous kind of bright berry and looking at them side by side you probably wouldn't even think they would layer well but just you wait so i went ahead and put jam all over my lips it's a little bit messy but you're just gonna have to forgive me now i'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this gloss with my finger and just start patting it on the lower portion of my lip not the easiest thing to do when you're talking. I don't know why I'm doing that. But regardless, I'm hoping that you guys can see that on top of this darker berry base, it really, really brought out the blue glitter. I have no words for this lip combo right here. The Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick and Jam, or really any berry color, and then top it with this platonic relationship. Holy moly. In terms of the actual feel of the gloss, it's not super thick or sticky. Compared to the gloss balm, I do feel like this might be just a little bit thicker, but that does make sense because this has 
quite a bit of glitter. It's definitely not uncomfortable on the lips by any means. It actually feels nicely hydrating. I wouldn't expect any like stellar long wearing properties out of this because it is a gloss, but really, really beautiful. I think Fenty Beauty did a fantastic job with this color. There are a couple other colors I now have my eyes on because I love this one so stinking much. So there we have it. That wraps up my thoughts on the new Fenty Beauty Galaxy Holiday Collection. I do think the eyeshadow palette is really pretty if you guys like those pressed glitter formulas. And these lip products, man, they are so beautiful. The packaging on them is stunning. The colors just very unique, very, very pretty. But that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more holiday review videos coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye.